Sorry, second time, President Trump visited the new African American Museum in Washington today as part of Black History Month. He went out of his way to praise Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece. I also want to profoundly thank Alveda King for being here. And as we saw her uncle's wonderful exhibit, and he certainly deserves that. Mrs. King, and by the way, Miss King, I, I can tell you this personally because I watch her all the time. And she is a tremendous fighter for justice. And so, Alveda, thank you very much. Come. I have been watching you for so long, and you are so incredible. Very nice. Joining us from Orlando is Dr. King. So, first of all, you got a little emotional there. I know it was very nice of him to, to do that for you, but you've been a, a supporter of his, an outspoken supporter. Why did you decide to do that? Well, Bill, you know I'm a Fox News contributor and director of Civil Rights for the Unborn, and so I am on television a lot, and I, I believe the president has been watching. And I really appreciate him taking the time to just say a couple of words like that. Now, there were 17 candidates, if you remember, on the conservative side, and I had a very short list, and President Trump was always on that short list. And so, but why? Later, why? What, did, what did you feel he could bring to the presidency that gains your support? You know, the very first thing that he said was certainly when he says, I'm pro-life, we'll defund Planned Parenthood. That grabbed me. Then when he said, people in America need to work, we'll bring the jobs back. That will help every American, including African Americans. African Americans want to work, have good education, peace and security, just like every American. The American dream is still alive. So when he said that, that got my attention. And also the Supreme Court justice. It was just that simple for me. Okay. Now, many in the African American community do not like President Trump. Some uh, are even calling him a racist. Um, I never could figure that out. There is no history of that in the man's background. Just like today, they were calling him an anti-Semite or something, didn't denounce anti-Semite. I'm going, what are you talking about? I, I, it's ridiculous. But they do it. So why are some African Americans so vehemently opposed to the president? Well, you know, there's an ongoing social media conversation and sometimes on mainstream media between my cousin Bernice King, who voted for Hillary Clinton, Mrs. Clinton, and I voted for President Trump, you see. And so we have agreed to resolve our differences nonviolently without fighting and arguing. So that's okay for some people not to have voted for President Trump, but it's the violence that has to stop. And we have to have open and honest communication. Okay, Many blacks well are good, hearing fake news. Many blacks are out? hearing fake news. Fake news. How did it get out that Donald Trump was a racist in the African American community? Fake All news. Right, but who's putting the fake news out? Does it come out in a television network? Does it come out in a newspaper, a magazine? How does it get out there? It's out on social media a lot, and we are seeing a lot of that. And just accusing him of being a racist without doing real homework, real investigation. For instance, Al, Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson complimented Donald Trump several years ago, said he's, his plans were great for the urban community. And then all of a sudden you hear all this, he's racist, he hates black people, and that just really is not the truth. You know, he and Dr. Ben Carson, interestingly enough, and Dr. Carson has accepted that HUD position, they, in, during the campaign, it was tough, it was great. But they came together, a meeting of the minds, he and Senator Tim Scott. There are the uh, National Trump Coalition, Diversity Coalition. There are many African Americans in that coalition who really just like the same things that I like. The pro-life plan, the economic plan, the education plan, the safety and security. Everybody, every American, the American dream is still alive. So the fake news calling him a racist, that has to stop. All right. We hope it does, Ms. King. Thanks for coming on tonight. When we come right back to California.